Hey guys, welcome back to, to the channel guys. Today we're working on the Audi TT here at the shop again. And we were fixing a flex pipe on it. As you know, uh, this is the one that we took out, out of another vehicle, out, out of another Volkswagen Beetle. So we want to see if that thing is uh, actually going to fit the whole way with the catalytic converter. We hope it does because otherwise we have to cut it weld it so that's that's quite a bit of work so stay with us guys today uh we're gonna go underneath and hopefully we'll be able to take the old one off i'll show you what it looks like i took some some bolts and nuts off already okay here it is and uh we're putting the rear suspension as well because yeah it was i mean it needed some work so let's go ahead get underneath get a little bit dirty and see what we need to do next okay guys we're underneath now this is the flex pipe right here check this thing out completely completely gone uh, i don't think it actually happened during the crash it was replaced and i think they used a cheap one to be honest with you and they probably even drove it that way the way it looks because it has some black around it so it means it had a leak and uh, what I did here, I used some penetrating oil. Okay, let me show you. This is really, really good stuff, guys. And I'll share the links for Amazon where you can get stuff if you need anything. They, they will be on our website, Mechanic Lifestyle, so you guys don't have to spend time to search for things. You can just click on Amazon and buy it. And uh, just using, uh, I was using a regular 17 millimeter deep socket here and I got all four of those uh, loose. Now I'm gonna go towards the back, that's a catalytic converter, one oxygen sensor on top, one on front. Okay, I need to push myself somehow to get there and I'll show you there is a problem, actually look at that thing there. There is a problem with the exhaust clamps there, one is gone, one, is, one looks broken, I sprayed some. Uh, some penetrating oil so hopefully it might come off so we'll see how that goes now okay I have a 16 millimeter here and you can see the bolt is spinning freely which means that the clamp is so rusty that it's not holding anything so if I can break it loose okay uh, okay right there perfect and we'll be replacing it with another one. Check it out. So much, so much rust there. Oxygen sensor on that thing is pretty convenient. Okay, trying to get some tools here. And we should have, we should have the wires under this cap right here. So uh, once we, once we take it off, we'll be able to unhook the oxygen sensor and pull them out with the exhaust and those plastic nuts spray them too with penetrating oil because if they have rust they tend to break and then you cannot install the cap water will get inside dirt and you have a code for oxygen sensor even if it works Okay, it's right there, you can see. Okay guys, so I think it's coming out of there now. Okay, check it out, that's where we unhook the sensors. Let me pull the other piece of the flex pipe. Okay, <laughs> right here in two pieces. So I'm gonna pull everything out and let's check the damage out now. Okay guys, check it out. So that's the one that we have from the Beetle here, this one. Uh, there is a little bit of a difference here now. Uh, okay, you can see this is the Beetle back. Okay, so here everything's fine. One of the catalytic converters is a little bit longer, but I think it wouldn't be a problem. And we'll see right here, I think we will have a little bit of a difference here as well. We'll need to cut it. But, uh, yeah, it's right here, you can see, so we will need to uh, probably cut it there a little bit and see what happens. 
Okay, so we got that piece out now. We want to pull this piece out as well. We want to see if we can reuse that clamp, clamp here because those are a little bit expensive sometimes. And if we can save it, that will be that will be awesome. So, uh, 16 millimeter, 17 here. I think some of them are different. Okay, to make sure that yeah, it's it's a 17. Okay, this one came off. That's that's awesome. So far, it's great. Second one, I think, too. We'll be able to save them, guys. You can see how, how much rust is there. But this stuff. It works good. It just saved us about 10 15 dollars for that clamp there. Okay, so now it's important not to break it, just uh, get it loose a little bit. Okay, right there. So, we'll just need to pull that piece out later, but that's easy. Now, we actually want to make sure that they're the same length, otherwise we might have to cut one of them to fit in the vehicle. So actually, after we remove the piece there, guys, we put them side by side on top of each other here. They seem to be about exact the same length, but probably half an inch difference. But that will, that will not hurt it at all. So I don't think we'll just install it the way it is now. Alright guys, so we're gonna go under the car now quick to install that thing. So let's see if I can get it in. It's a little bit tight here. So I have to get it put it. Okay, like that. And now we need to slide it on the back. So oh yes, we got it in there, you can see all we have to do is install the two bolts that hold it together. We got it in the, uh, we got it in the front, uh, in the uh, headers actually there, <laughs> that's upside down, hopefully you can see. All we have to do, just install the nuts and they come with big washers, okay like that. Hey, pretty good quality nuts because they don't rust from the heat, that's a good thing. And uh, stay with us, we're going to fire it up and see see how it sounds after that, if we have a leak or not. Alright guys, we are actually ready to start it now, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, if we have exhaust leak. Well, it sounds pretty good. Wow. Completely different story guys. So, that's how we removed and replaced the flex pipe on it. Uh, if you if you don't have a whole catalytic converter and set, all you have to do is just buy a new flex pipe. Cut it right here, okay, and weld it. So that's pretty simple, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.